Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with a tech video. Uh, in this tech video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at how to install Hellybean 4.2.2 for the Nexus S, as well as many other devices, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing, uh, basically this ROM is Android 4.2.2 based, uh, it's called Hellybean. And uh, I'm gonna take a quick look at how to install it. All the links, uh, or the link to the to the main site to get to this ROM will be down in the description, um, as well as the G apps. This ROM supports a lot of devices, and uh, so that's good. So of course you're gonna reboot into recovery. And I just like to tell you guys that um, if you have uh, told me about a ROM that you want me to review or talk about. Uh, it may take me uh, maybe a week or so to get to it um, just because I do have a lot of stuff already planned. Um, so don't worry, I will be doing, uh, if you have a suggestion for a ROM, I will be doing a review uh, how to install and like first look like I am now. Uh, so don't be discouraged if I don't uh, get to it right away. Wipe data factory reset. When that is done, you're gonna wipe cache partition. Now this part I was always unsure if you have to wipe the cache partition after you just did a full factory reset, but um, I I do, so. After you're done wiping that and the Dalvik cache, go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip. Now if you, like I said in past videos, if you uh, downloaded this straight from your phone, so basically if you went to the website link down in the description from whatever phone that you have, or you have, and then you followed all the links and everything and you downloaded it, to your device, it'll be in the download folder, it should be somewhere there. If it's on your laptop or you download it to your computer and you plugged it in uh, via USB, then you should put it in the root of the SD card or in no folders so it's easy to find. Uh, so as you can see here is the uh, ROM, Hellybean 2013-03-11-Crespo. Uh, they support a lot of devices, so, uh, and hit yes. So all those devices that they support, I will put a list down in the description so you know if your device is supported or not. I believe they support like the Galaxy S, uh, possibly the Galaxy S2, maybe the Galaxy S3, um, the Nexus S 4G, the Nexus S. Uh, those are just a couple names that I saw as I was going down the list, so you might want to check it out. Okay, so after it says install from SD card complete, you can go back and just hit reboot system now. Now, just mind you, if this is the first time you're installing custom ROM or you're a little worried that it seems to be taking longer than normal to boot your phone, uh, the first boot is usually the longest. Now, if it takes like 10 to 15 minutes, uh, you should probably pull the battery, put it back in, and try to reboot it. Okay, so since you probably wouldn't have installed the G apps, uh, you won't have that setup screen. So Hellebeen is basically a ROM that's uh, built off of Android 4.2.2 uh, and uses a lot of elements from CyanogenMod. So it will feel a lot like a CyanogenMod ROM. Um, although, first blush, it does feel uh, smoother up here in the notification uh, bar. I have had some issues with some ROMs feeling uh, that feeling really slow and some uh, feeling that's, that's really smooth. And uh, this is one of them where it feels pretty smooth to uh, um, pull it down and uh, put it back up. You have your uh, interface um, settings here with the lock screen and the themes. You have system, so you have a lot of a lot of things here, and it seems like you have more than uh, a little bit more than a signage mod, which is nice. And then of course you have super user now built in. So if you uh, you're used to going to the Play Store and downloading a super user app. You no longer have to do that. If it's any ROM that's based off a of sign engine mod, they include super user, so that's nice. All right, so we'll go down here into about phone and you'll see it's Android 4.2.2 and it says Hellybean. Uh, so like I said, it's based off of sign engine mod. Uh, so that's why it does look still a lot like sign engine mod, but it is uh, Hellybean. So I will probably be installing the G apps and uh, using it a little bit and telling you guys how uh, how it feels um, probably next week. And I will also be having uh, another ROM to install. So stay tuned. Also tell your friends and family, anybody else you know, uh, tweet it, put it on Google+, Facebook, whatever. 
that I'll be having a giveaway. Um, so more info on that as I get closer. Giveaway will be at 500 subs. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.